With spring in full bloom, who wants to spend time running to the store, cooking, and doing dishes? Factors' convenient, nutritious meals are delivered straight to your door and will help you spend less time on food prep and more time watching a beautiful sunset on your new deck. Maybe this ad is a little too specific to my experience, but I love Factor and I know you will too because it's America's number one ready to eat meal kit. And Factor has something for everyone. Whether you're watching your calories, reaching for extra protein, or eating keto, vegan, or vegetarian, these chef prepared and dietitian approved meals have you covered so you can think less about nutrition labels and more about the radiant oranges, pinks, and blues of a warm Los Angeles sunset. So, honey, it's time to head to factormeals.com slash bald50 and use code bald50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code bald50 at factormeals.com slash bald50 to get 50% off your first box. Today's Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at Squarespace. So I have to tell you, as a small business owner, you know, the motel is my business. You know, long before Drag Race, I was a makeup artist with my own website. I have to tell you, being able to control and update and, and manage your own website is wonderful. I know from experience, the more people you add to that process, the more dependent you become on other people. From websites and online stores with marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that builds beautiful online presence to run your business. You guys, with e-commerce, your website is basically your storefront. If you don't have a great storefront for your business, you may as well not have a good product at all. And obviously, the websites are mobile optimized. I mean, all websites are optimized for mobile. In my opinion, having a website that looks good on a phone is almost more important than how it looks on a computer. That's just me. That's how I feel. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hi, it's Trixie and Katya. We are doing a live Bald and the Beautiful at Just for Laughs on Thursday, July 27th, and tickets are available now. Get yours at montreal.hahaha.com. That's montreal.hahaha.com. Bro. 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 Oh, 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 Very boring. Very, very boring. So it is a hard song to sing. This song goes out to all the children and also their mothers. Yes. That was supposed to be Celine Dion. I, I, I got it. I got okay. it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. it is a hard song to sing. It is a hard song. Hello, to sing. Canada. Well, here we are again. Yeah. We um, are going to stand outside at this festival and I'm going to sing this song. I don't drink any meal because of the mucus. That, one, that was not Celine. That was I don't know who fun. Was. That was Celine. <laughs> Celine. That was Celine, Celine Dion. D- Celine Dion. Celine I, Dijon. It was Celine Dijon. Um, love to love to go to Canada. Oh my God! It's, a, it's our like a, friends to the north. It's like a bizarre version of America where people um, are nice. Well, I'm not saying they don't have their problems. Looking at you, like, Justin Trudeau. They don't have as many shootings and stuff. No, but they have a lot of snowplow accidents. And people love to be like, in Canada, we don't lock their doors. People who don't lock their doors don't tell people about it. I don't even lock my doors. I know. I only I only started saying it after I started locking. Yes. Yeah. God. Mama. Mama. Sweetie, darling. Honey. Can I talk to you about something? What? The the, the locking the door doors, locking them. Uh, Hey, what's uh, up with that? Do all my doors have locks on them? What's up with that? Talking about boop, 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 boop. Oh, key codes? Key, like um, these locks that are like, they can be accessed remotely. Love it. Uh, um, yeah, when they work. I have Doorbird. And when somebody... Doorbird. Today's episode is brought to you by Doorbird. No, I have Doorbird. And when we have a package and I'm not home, mm-hmm. I see a camera of who's there. I see a guy with a package and I go, hi, you can come on in and leave at the door. And they go, thank you. The door unlocks. They walk in. I can see them leave the package and leave. So you could be in San Francisco. Anywhere. Belgium. Belgium. Canada. Belgique. Belgique. France! Remember that lady yelling France? France. That Canada. Scared, that scared the shit out of me. Belgique. France. Turkey. France. Yeah. France. What was going what was she going through? I think she was excited. Because you know, when you talk about the vocal tract, it's all smooth muscle. And smooth muscle like that is can be very involuntary. Smooth muscle is by nature involuntary. Because everything gets heightened and clenched, mm. which is why people are singing and they're nervous. 
they get it, they clench. That happens to me all the time on I stage. Know. I, I I clench and then I crack and then it's a whole thing. I clench and I, I crack. crack. But then the audience loves you. <gasps> I received an insane compliment this morning. What? Can I tell you? Sure. Can I celebrate a success on the uh, pod? Hold on, let me can just we for uh, one second not dog pile on me okay, and let me have one thing. Can I just thing? crack my drinks and yeah. get it? Hold on. That's our, that's that's my favorite color, Red Bull, the yellow one. Pine, was it called pineapple or mango or tropical? Sip it. Tell us how it tastes. Hold on. I love the yellow one. Amber Grizz. The best is when someone goes liquid gold. Did you want sugar free? I said, what are we doing here, Mama? If you, you also suck dick with a condom on. If, thank. You like that's Thank what's mama. happening. That is the perfect. Mom, that is. Do you it. suck cock with a condom on? That is it. That is it. Girl. That is the perfect analogy. I talked about this in one of my shows. But Diet I remember- Coke, sugar free, sugar free Red Bull. Why don't you get that big schlong out here and double bag it before you? Not Diet Coke. That's different. Diet Coke's lovely because sometimes you want that little burn without all that sugar. Okay. I don't drink normal Coke. Okay. I think that's disgusting. Diet. Okay. Diet. Okay. Diet. Dietina. I don't know about Miss Diet. Have you ever seen, you know, you know Delta Work? Yeah. She has her podcast, Berry Delta, and yeah. she'll have guests on and they'll talk about Diet Coke versus Diet Pepsi. Oh, my And man. when someone says they prefer Diet Pepsi, her eyes. You she get say, yes. out of here. She yeah. says it. She'll go, now tell me why. Just tell me why yeah, you prefer I'm it. I'm just curious. It's like, like she's on the verge of gunning them down. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah. Like, any last words before I strangle you to death? Yeah. There's one person I don't Diet want mad at me. Is it's Delta. Diet Pepsi is diabolical. What's the going on with that? of the devil. What's going on with that? I'm already mad about Pepsi and now you're going to give me Diet? Mama, you might as well just get that dead cat and squeeze its fucking... Um, mung little, juice. Mung it. Mung it right into this mouth. Mm-hmm. Mung it into my maw. Yeah. Mung, mung. Mung, 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 mung. <laughs> yeah. I, I talked about this in one of my shows, but... Wait, where's the compliment? Where's the compliment? I'll get to it. But one time at the doctor, the doctor said, are you having sex? And I said, no, just oral. And the doctor said, well, oral sex is sex. And I said, well, if oral sex is sex, I guess what's been happening to my asshole is a murder-suicide. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not sucking cock with a bag over it, bitch. You think I grave rob to look at the jewelry? Like, if we're gonna do it, let's yeah, do it. I know. I don't come s- in my mouth and give me the fucking full I, fat Red Bull, bitch. Thank you. I don't. I don't. I don't fix my mouth to that corpse's butthole. And have my friend jump on the stomach, not just pull away at the last minute, honey. I get all that mung up in there. Get the forever mung. Forever mung and mung. eternally wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> forever mung. Woke, forever mung. Yeah. Woke Ugh. up to a compliment. Tom, tell woke me about up it. Woke up to a compliment. What happened? I have. I'm text friends with Sia, the artist Sia. Okay, she music Sia, drag. music yes. Sia, world famous musical yeah, icon singer, Sia. wig 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 wearer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's watching Trixie Motel, mm-hmm. and she told me she said, "Who wrote the theme song? I love it." I said, "I did to save us some money." <laughs> and then she said, "Maybe it actually, you know, now that it's coming out, it might be a read." She was like, "If you guys do a season two, let me know. I would love to help with the song. So maybe it's actually turning into a read." But I th- I think it was a compliment. The, I, but I'm obsessed with re, uh, reading bad movie reviews. I love it. That's why I love The Whale. Every piece of the, every, uh, you know, even- People don't one. like The Whale? No. But why does it win awards? Well, it's a great question. Well, first of all, it's payola. And second of all, it's it's an academy. It's it, it's a, an academy of- um, It's drag pageants. It, it, it's it's, it's drag saying it's, it's her year. Politi- exactly. It's a ghoulish, incestuous, like, political machine that we don't really know how it works. And it's just like, ugh. Didn't RuPaul present at the Oscar? No, RuPaul presented at the Emmys, played the Emmy. Do you remember RuPaul yes, played the with Emmy? Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That was fabulous. Playing the Emmy? That's, Mama, that's better than getting the Emmy. Well, you know who was close to that? Emmy Rossum. Of course. And she thought, well, I'm Emmy. I'm, it's a shoe in. Yeah. And then RuPaul said, actually, not really. Not really. RuPaul came in about six feet taller than her. Mm-hmm. Stomped put, that little put bitch that like a shoe bug. right on her throat. Have you ever seen the movie Anaconda with Jennifer Lopez? I sure the fuck have. I guess where I watched it at Margaritaville. At the, when you were doing Trixie Motel? Margaritaville. Yep. At the bar, eating a steak, a horrible steak. I was at the bar glued to the TV for two fucking hours watching Anaconda. Bobby, Anaconda. Love that when you came to tr- came to film Trixie Motel, I had COVID and you didn't get it. Do you remember that? I like I got know. COVID the next day. I was, can, I, feel, I feel so, in retrospect, I felt like such a fucking asshole because I was sure I had it. Uh-huh. Because I was in bed with you. 
tongue kissing you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, mm-hmm. there's no way I don't have it. But you can't get it from fucking yourself with my foot. That's true. With acrylics on my toes. Do people not, get acrylic toenails? Is that stupid? No, they do. They sure for the fuck do. Yeah. Do people do press on toenails? Absolutely. Oh, they, of course they do. I bought them. I have worn them many a time. I bought them as a last resort because of the thumbnail not being big enough. I was going to say, yeah, you can use a thumb. You can use a toe for a thumb. And sometimes I'll use the baby toenails as like a jewelry. And if I feel like if I, if I, if I'm breathing through my nose too much, I put them up, I just block, I use a little block here. When you're nail you know, straight guys. And then I have to just mouth breathe for the rest of the day. So I get my lips nice and dry. Yeah. I got to shave my ass. Oh my God. I just did that last night. Well, there's always this, like, there's this, this period where it's long and you would think, God, how can your body be bald up here? But grow six foot long toothbrush bristles out of this region. I'm gonna talk to Bob Hoskins, right? Talk to Bob Hoskins. And I do. You do. I three way text him with Sia. <laughs> Me, Sia, and Bob Hoskins. <laughs> yeah. um, so you shaved your asshole? I, no, I need to because it gets to the point where it's Stephen King's In the Tall Grass. Oh my God. And I'm Patrick. Well, I'm not even Patrick Wilson. I'm like. You're the tall grass. I'm the tall grass. Yeah, yeah. But You're that then, rock. Then I have to, if I'm going to shave it, it's usually because for like a week I'll go like, I'm going to do some bare legs drag shit. So if I'm going to cut it, I might as well shave everything. I agree. So then I'll shave everything. And then yep. for like two weeks, I'll wear one pair of tights and feel my zhuzh. Actually, yep. I can get a few weeks in with just like hair that short bristles. Absolutely. And nobody knows. Absolutely. But for that first like week or so, when everything shaved to the skin. It's pussy cunty and I'm like, hi. Mm, there's yeah. like an eight hour period where you're like, am I butter? Is my whole body butter? You get in the sheets and you're like, did I piss? Or like, that's just what sheets feel like on like, your legs. Wait a minute. Is that a fuck? Is that a wet pussy? Is that a oh, wet fuck of ah. a pussy? Oh shit. Am I having a period right now? Yeah. My labia are puffy. Right. right. Wet, 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 wet. Um, this clit is throbbing. Throbbing. Red. Purple. Throbbing. Purple. Purple. <laughs> Purple. I got to squeeze it. Like a fucking Concord grape. <laughs> Put it in a juicer, bitch. <laughs> Put it in a ninja. Put my clit in a ninja. Clit in the ninja. Huh, huh. So, so then you shave it and then everything's... And then there's the dark period, which is oh. sort of like a six-day period where everything's bristling and new. It's... it's uh, Things are things are ingrown. Or not ingrown. Things are red. Because when you cut a hair strand and it grows out, it's growing out sharp because you sliced the hair at an angle. I mean, any hairstylist will tell you, you can get slivers from people's hair. Oh, absolutely. Today's Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at Squarespace. So I have to tell you, as a small business owner, you know, the motel is my business. You know, long before Drag Race, I was a makeup artist with my own website. I have to tell you, being able to control and update and and manage your own website is wonderful. I know from experience, the more people you add to that process, the more dependent you become on other people. Let's say you, as a small business owner, you wake up on a Saturday and you want to do a special on your puka shell necklaces, or you want to upload some brand new photos of a model that you photographed in puka shell necklaces, or you wanted to open up a special for a scuba diving trip where you and loved ones um, can get a group rate to deep sea dive and collect puka shells for necklaces. It's just great to be able to control your own website. From websites and online stores with marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that builds beautiful online presence to run your business. You guys, with e-commerce, your website is basically your storefront. If you don't have a great storefront for your business, you may as well not have a good product at all. For example, I know for me, you know, I run a makeup website and I know for us, the analytics are very important. The fact that I can go in and I can track what someone was doing with their mouse or their cursor, I can see what they were looking at, what they clicked next based on what they just saw, um, maybe what part of the sale did they abandon the cart? I mean, all that becomes very important. One of my other favorite things about Squarespace is that you can link your social media. So even if you aren't fabulous at updating it yourself, you're going to have everything you do on social media doubling over on your website. Another really cool thing is you can be, if you have an important cause, um, there's an option to support your cause by gathering contributions with PayPal, Apple Pay, Stripe, Venmo. You know, at, at my company at Trixie Cosmetics, for example, we love the Bee Conservancy. That's kind of our passion. Another great thing, another great thing, email campaigns. I have to tell you at Trixie Cosmetics, um, 
something like 39% of our emails we send out get opened, which means like the way you not just make a sale or interact with people, but the way you reintroduce a sale and reinteract with people is really, really important. Don't forget, it costs 10 times as much money to get a new client as it costs to keep one. I don't know where I heard that, but I think it's true. And obviously the websites are mobile optimized. I mean, all websites are optimized for mobile. In my opinion, having a website that looks good on a phone is almost more important than how it looks on a computer. That's just me, that's how I feel. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So today's episode of Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at Better Help, or as they say it in Australia, better help. Not a great, not a great, uh, Never mind. <laughs> Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially since we're always growing and changing. I am so inconsistent. You'll notice if you followed me for a while or you're a friend of mine, my personality dramatically changes as time goes on. I'm a new person with new beliefs every few years, new points of view about myself, new approaches to problems, new feelings about the world and I feel like the older I get, the more I understand the world, the more I understand the world, the more I get like upset about the status of the human race and the and planets. And um, anyway, the older I get, the more I actually know that I don't know everything. And therapy is all about deepening self-awareness and understanding. Because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk about things. Everything is a reaction. Every feeling we have is a reaction. And it's, 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 our whole inside is so complicated. Like you're never gonna get everything, but I've found that with talk therapy and talking about what's wrong, I can get really good at being my best. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. My favorite thing about this type of talk therapy is instead of unloading on my assistant or my partner or people just in my bubble, I can sort of, you know, do a first pass of these things in an intimate setting with a therapist. And then I have something a little more shaped to present like as a thought, you know what I mean? I'm not just unloading on people around me. If you ever thought of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. The best part is it's all online. So it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. I mean, I've learned in the past few years that you can pretty much run a whole business with video chat. And I love, I love being able to connect without having to go to the doctor. I mean, I'm all over the world in hotel rooms, airports, like I don't have even a car. So for me to consistently get somewhere, being able to do it on video is so much easier. You get matched with a licensed therapist and you can change therapists at any time for any reason. Side note, one of my other favorite things is you can get help with LGBTQIA plus issues, which based on where some of you might live, you might not even have a queer friendly therapist in your area. You might live somewhere in the United States where drag is becoming illegal. You know what I mean? Like being able to access empathetic therapists who understand you really matters and it shouldn't be limited by your zip code. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash ball today and get 10% off your first month. That's better H-E-L-P help.com slash bald. So then I got to wait like a few weeks for it to grow to that like porn length where you have hair everywhere, but it's this long. Yeah. I suppose I could like Namaste on the floor and just buzz it with a, a so lawnmower. So here's what you got to do. You got to do, you got to buzz um, every, like you only want to shave the hole. Because the butthole's hard. The butthole is like not going to, the butthole, around the butthole itself is you not not going to get. You don't want that razor. You don't want that Gillette Mach 3 up against your hole. Oh no, you, yes you do. You do? Au contraire, honey. But then it's going to grow in all sharp and crazy. No, 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 no. What you want to avoid is doing that on the cheeks around the hole. Any, oh. Because that's where the real, that's where a hammer time that's comes That's where the, da- the danger Because begins. that's where you're sitting down. You're not sitting and on you your asshole. It. You feel it. When you sit on a freshly shaved ass a few days later, you're like, Oh, is that razors? Oh, oh. Am I, yeah. Am I, oh, si- am I in out of my saw? skin? Am I sitting on a bunch of needles? Because I tossed in a vat of needles. Mary, I got a movie for you if you love Saw. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm not done yet. You got to go get, got to get your fucking hole sugared. Sugar waxed, baby. Sugar walls. And can they do that at like Trejo's Donuts or? They do it at Trader Joe's from three to five. Interesting. Happy hour. Mm. Yeah. In the wine section. The sampling. You have to go like this. <laughs> no, but no, seriously. Um, and, and apparently it's a, it's a, it's a less like 
painful, more more effective form of waxing. Oh. I mean, th what you really want to do is electrology, electrolysis, um, laser. But but I like having a hairy butt. Well, there you go. So why don't you? But what I I don't want Rose Royce car wash. <laughs> I think of those big flapping turning things. I just want astroturf. You know what I mean? I want like a nice uniform yeah. short hair. That's what I want to be a short hair a domestic. Yes, cat. you want to be a short hair chihuahua down there. I don't want um. A hairless sphinx. Right. I don't want one of those scrunchy face long hair. No. I want a domestic short hair. Easy. You you buzz you buzz with a clipper the 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 cheeks that you know if there's anything there like the up in the crack of the cheeks but then the hole you can shave with a bic smooth mm -hmm. so that so that your man friend can enjoy doing. You think I'm using a bic on my butthole? No offense to bic. No, a Gillette Mach Gillette, three. Gillette Mach three comfort grip. Honey. Absolutely. Chic Ultra Glide. Or I'm not gonna lie, those uh, Manscaped when they made those short-handed razors for when you're doing close shaves. Oh, sure. Okay. Nice little short-handed razor for the head. I tried. So this fun fact, you know, the my little skull shaver, the da ba da ba da. Are your thoughts changing on it? No, not about here. No, I'm I'm squarely on board still. You tried to do it. Where did you try to do it? Well, let me tell you where I tried to do it. I tried to do it on my derriere, and it worked, in the sense that it got. It got like, it was like smooth on the cheeks, but then. Irritation. But then an evil started. Irritation. Yeah. There was, um, you know, it was like a, the calm before the storm. And then in the eye of the storm, there was nothing but pure evil. Uh, <laughs> I can't use one of those. My grandpa always used it with like the three circles. Yeah. That's what, that's what that is. That makes my face itch like you couldn't believe yeah i think you're you have to get acclimated to that there's like a i don't have that kind of time i don't either mama fuck that shit plus, plus get in the shower all the hairs go down the drain if you are male or a hairy person and you're shaving your face and you're using electric shavers those pieces fly everywhere your bathroom gets disgusting in two seconds no 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 they go inside the electric shaver you hope no no they do well i mean on this one anyways are you working for the government I'm working for the FBI. Right. It seems like you're kind of insider trading here. Am no, I going to no. find out that you own like 51% of some butthole shaper company? You think I own 51% of anything, Mary? No, but it's it, so true. But, but the, um, so I, I did shave my asshole for the very expressed um, uh, reason that is I fucking shoved a huge ass fucking double, not double dong, but a dildo up there again. Lovely. And why do you need the hair gone to do that? Oh, because it's just, it's first, it's hygiene. It's also, it's, it, Presentation. it's priming the pump. Yeah, it's priming the pump. I like it to be, I like to feel, you know, fresh and clean and ready and sensual and erotic and all that stuff. Um, and it's Owning a home is a gateway to becoming yourself. Owning a home is a gateway to becoming yourself. Because living alone is fine, but then you got neighbors, you got a landlord. I know. Owning, that's when you piss on the floor in your own house. What did I talk about? I know. I threw away the shorts today, though, because I realized I left them in there and they smell like pee pee. That'll happen. Yeah. I want to talk to you about this. So I got my two jeweled butt plugs. Uh huh. One is very heavy, one is not. Now, do you like, why did, can I just, I don't want to be closed minded. Then don't be. Do people <laughs> like the, you like the look of someone turning around a little fucking, a little fucking troll jewel poking out of their Mama, ass? There's nothing little about this Girl, jewel. This honey. is not, this is the Hope Diamond. This isn't green This dots. is the jewel of the ocean, the, the jewel of the Nile. This How is the is heart it? of the ocean. It's like the hope diamond. It's like that big. Girl, it's a hopeless diamond. <laughs> it's a no hope diamond. Wait, what Conflict color? Conflict for it's a conflict. It's a blood diamond. <laughs> <laughs> when it's, you pull it out, it's a blood diamond. Well, I have AB. So in the light one, the hot like the they're AB all crystal. they're stainless steel. AB crystal is the light one, but then the heavy one. She's about mama. She's like three pounds. Shit. It's solid, solid sta steel, heavy. We're like oof. If it hits the if I one day I was had in there for a little too long. I stood up to go do something. I forgot wait I had how, it. Wait a minute. Shh. How long are you leaving it in there? No. Is this sex related? Absolutely. But I, is this stupid? I, I mean, had it in there while I was working out. Is this Healthy stupid? Do toning. people do that? Do people do that outside of sex to like stretch their butthole? Ask Gwenny mama. Ask, oh, oh, to stretch. But why are you doing it outside of a sex environment? Because uh, A, it's titillating. B. All the time. It's the No, not all the time. I don't do wear it to the grocery store. I do wear it to the gas station. Um, no, but I, like, I, I had, so I had it in, okay, let me just paint the picture real quick. Paint I had something. it in. <laughs> Clarify. I had it in my butt. Do, 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 do. Boop. Okay. Then I was like, ah, 
I'm going to go downstairs and work out. So I kept it in there. And it was an interesting experience because this was a heavy one. So it's kind of like, um, it was kind of like uh, the, the sphinx, you know, the, the jade egg. It was like, yeah, the noni egg, p- the pelvic floor uh, toning. And it was like funny because I, I, I sneezed at one point. You know what happened? The shootout? Yeah, it shot out. It hit the ground like an anchor. It hit the ground like a fucking uh, scud missile over Baghdad. So when Crazy. people when people say like you know the old ball and chain, well for you it's it's the old jeweled butt plug yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Fuck. but it's great though but anyway so magnetic I get that no magnetic is it real metal do I have iron in my ass is it metal it's stainless steel but I could stick a magnet to it it's stainless steel I could stick a refrigerator magnet to it you could pull it out of my ass with a fucking Acme magnet like in in Looney Tunes yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about all right you think you I okay so you think you could troll me you could control me. <laughs> like someone Magneto. has to apparently we need to reel you in you said you Huge know what du- wait, I'm hold on become now. a vascular 47 year old bottom and i'm going to start with kitchen appliances bigger than this i know we talked about this before i'm trying to ask i'm trying to bigger th- uh what about the chipotle candle it's a little smaller than that a little thinner this way yeah, yeah, yeah that was in your butt in my butt and not only in my butt feeling lovely gal i see you know what i see for you magda something about mary by the way you want to talk movies that I haven't seen in a while that some of the material shocked me? Yes, I do. There's something about Mary. What is it about Mary that happened? What, what, what doesn't happen in that movie? By the way, what's Matt Dillon? <sighs> <sighs> really? Wild yes! Things? you seen Wild Things? You no. See- well, Mama, you will nut for wild things. Oh, it's got your girl Nev in there. Oh, and Denise Richards, bitch. Oh, I got a one. Three Wait, is them. that the one we're on the front there Les, in the pool? Les, be friends. <laughs> Something about Mary? Um, wait, wait. She Mary's, the come in the Mary, Well, first of all, Cameron Diaz as Mary is just oh my god. It's it's a movie where everyone's in love with her, and of course they are. It's, she's so amazing. She's very magnetic. And I love Ben Stiller, and I love Matt Dillon, and I, Brett Favre is in it. Um, the guy from Schitt's Creek who plays um. Eugene Levy? No, their neighbor, Ro- Roland. Uh, P- Pookie Robinson? Roland from Schitt's Creek. Um, Tiki, Tiki. Chris Mary. Elliott's in oh, it. Oh, Chris so Elliott. He's good. very funny. Um, Harland, I forget what his last name is. Har- maybe Harland Williams. He's a Canadian comedian who was in the movie Rocket Man. Mm-hmm. He's in it. It's a great cast. Um, I'll just say that uh, Cameron, um, Mary's brother has Down syndrome. And that's fodder throughout the film. Oh, boy. Granted, everybody who makes that fodder is being portrayed as a bad person. Okay. It's not good people making these, like... Jesus Christ. It's a... I was like, I haven't seen this movie in, like, 15 years. I was like, oh! <laughs> movies were different! Yeah. Movies were different! Yeah, it's like, I, I told you when I was at that screening, um, uh, the 25th anniversary of Hairspray, and Ricky Lake throws the R word, I've never seen a crowd more pin drop silent. Like a... Hush went over the crowd. It was wild, yeah. wild. But again, good thing. No, yeah, it's, it's good, good to thing. be like that's it's, horrible. It's good wild. thing we don't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, speaking of hairspray, Nina West invent, invite, invented me. Nina West invited me to the Dolby Theater to come see the LA premiere of Hairspray on May second, April second. Interesting. I'm gonna go. And love Hairspray. I invited David Silver. He said he'd go. So David Silver put on the movie the other day. We gotta talk about fucking John Travolta, bitch. I haven't seen that movie in so oh, long. Oh, I haven't seen John that. Travolta in that movie. I haven't seen You've the never one seen Hairspray. With, I've seen the OG Hairspray, of course. You've never seen the 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 musical with Michelle Pfeiffer, John Travolta. No, no. I with um, there's so uh, much. Nikki good. Blonsky. Yes. First of all, Nikki Blonsky is incredible. In kills it. it. Yeah. She's amazing. She's hilarious. She's funny. Her voice is beautiful. She absolutely kills it. Uh-huh. I mean, I know she's not exactly winning a primetime Emmy in 2023. Whatever. But if you're going to have a major career moment, she turned that movie. Great. She turned that movie. Uh, let's talk about Miss Travolta. Michelle Pfeiffer. Gorgeous. Yeah. She plays a horrible racist on a 60s television, you know. Love it. I think she's she's the blondie Debbie yeah, Harry yeah, role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's amazing. The wigs in this movie, amazing. The what wigs are Ms. amazing. What about Miss Travolta's prosthetic? Honey. What about Miss Travolta? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go good first. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Amanda Bynes, that movie made me Amanda just Bynes miss her it. so much. She's so good at She plays Penny. She's oh, so wow. good in it. Everybody's good in it. Um, Queen Latifah's good in it. The guy who plays Seaweed is good in it. Everybody's good. Who's Corny costumes? Collins? James Marsden. James Marsden. He's so hot and good. Yeah, he's so hot. And John Travolta. And then Miss Travolta. Miss John Alina Travolta. Well, first Travolta. of all, it's a Baltimore accent, which I, I guess I'm not qualified, even though I am a dialect coach. Right. I'm not qualified to say who's good at a 
Baltimore accent because yeah. my other point of reference is Raymond and Carney Marbles, the filthiest people alive. Yeah. Or um, in American Horror Story Freak Show, K- Kathy Bates. No. The warder. Yeah. That, she's yeah. that. No way. So, so John Tavolta being like, um, turn that racket down, Tracy. My dog pills wearing off. I'm like. What? Also, he is looking like a dog. Like well, a he, dog pill is wearing off. He looks like a German shepherd shrink wrapped in like human skin. And it's fun that we have like John Travolta, Michelle Pfeiffer, people who are movie musical icons. It's of fun course. to have them in a movie musical. John Travolta is the it's I used to think it was so crazy that he played that. And it's so weird and like debatably bad. Yeah. Now watching it, it's so off the rocker crazy. Yeah. That I can't it. imagine it any other way. When when um, Kirstie Alley died, I rewatched Fat Actress, which I think is one season and only eight episodes. Mm. And he's in it for a second. Yeah. And I was like, God, he in that era, like he's so he's very handsome man in his younger years. Yeah. He, I love Kirstie Alley. I know she has her own issues. Sure. That Fat Actress show was great. I loved her in Look Who's Talking. Yes, that was great. I love when people are good at things, but. I don't like when off off stage they are a little wild later in life. James like, Woods, Christy Swanson, who's James Dean Woods? Kane. These are all like heavily um, conservative. That guy from Trump, Growing Pains, Trumpers. Yeah, I don't like that. That's stupid. But you know, Holly Weird, it really gets to you. The lamestream media. I can't believe we give people all this money and power and expect them to think and behave the same way as the rest of us. <sighs> I know. I I'm disappointed. The... Yeah, I'm devastated. In fact. Anyway, John Travolta in Hairspray. You got to watch it. Mm. The prosthetics, the outfits. You keep having to go, that's John Travolta. It's just so... I mean, Divine was so fa- fabulous in that role. I mean, it's <laughs> it's interesting because I watched al- almost all of John, John Waters' movies and started with Pink Flamingos. Mm-hmm. It's a hard movie to watch. Uh, yeah. It, I know it's iconic. It, I, yes. I'm good to watch it once. Once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I probably watched it twice. I mean, it's hard to get through. It's, it's you know, whatever. It's, it's it's disgusting. It's uh, badly acted. It's tough to. It's a, a slog in a lot of ways. She eats that shit, Mary. I know. I know. She eats that shit. Not and they fuck shit. that chicken, Mary. They fuck that they chicken. They fuck that dead yeah. chicken. They fuck that chicken. Um, and then no, the live chicken. That chicken is alive, honey. Don't they cut that off? No, no, no. They're fucking it when it's like struggling. It's gross. Right. But then you have polyester hairspray. Love polyester. These movies. They're, they're PG movies Desperate that living. are so so. But like. These PG movies like are like so well done. Serial Mom, Serial Mom, fabulous, moms. incredible, so fabulous. Kathleen Turner turns that movie out. Turns it so great. Pussy Willow, Hairspray. That motherfucker got R I C H from that shit. R I C H. That musical's so good though. I can't wait to see Nina in it. When you and I were traveling the country, we played some venues where she was in, in, in Indianapolis, right? Here. Yeah, she's yeah. this big poster. I bet she's amazing. Yeah, I'm sure she is. Or by the way, she, of course, is playing an unattractive mom. Mm. So she, Nina's always making her TikToks top of show when her character's in like rollers, a nightgown, and the makeup they have her in isn't. It's not Drag Race Runway. Okay, not it's fun. Garage Doors. It's mom. Uh, it's it's a mom who hasn't left the house. Okay. So Nina's always doing these like TikToks in her Edna Turnblad makeup. And I'm like scrolling, scrolling. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, I mean, think, remember Divine, she had that slicked, like nasty, like, I mean, she looked rotten. And Divine playing a woman. She's playing 100% a woman. 100% believable though. Yes. 100% believable. Miss Travolta, on the other hand, we have to employ a little suspension of disbelief, I think. It's fun. Rakuten, baby. Rakuten is the smartest way to save money when you shop. And Rakuten has sponsored our podcast episode today. So you get cash back at over 3,500 stores, okay, across every single category from fashion, beauty, electronics, home essentials, travel, dining, so much more. You're already shopping, right? Why not save a little money while doing it? You guys, membership is free. It's easy to sign up. Rakuten puts cash back directly into your PayPal account or they send you a check. I mean, there's so many brands. Nike, you guys, I wear so much Nike for running. I'm in the Nike store constantly. I just have, I have a set of orange running clothes that I wear that's bright, bright neon because I like to run at night and for me it's safer if I'm in bright colors. But I literally wear holes in my running clothes over time. So no matter how many times I purchase it, I just, I just have to purchase new clothes. 
So being able to save a little money on something like, you know, at Nike or Adidas for just something like gym clothes that I use all the time, it's great. Urban Outfitters, Tarte Cosmetics, obsessed with Lights Camera Lashes. It's my favorite mascara. Petco. Now, I don't have any pets, but you know I like to go in and just look at the birds. So, or if you're feeling fancy, Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue. I mean, when you want to treat yourself to something like a splurge, it's nice to know you have maybe a little bit of a savings going on. Start all your shopping at Rakuten and your cash back adds up. Rakuten has 15 million members who are already saving. Go to the free Rakuten app and download the free browser extension. Rakuten also finds you the best deals, sales, and coupons. They do the work of searching for coupon codes to save you time and money. And you can stack cash back on top of other deals like promotions or credit card points. You guys, I love shopping. And especially now that I have a home, like I, I do a lot of shopping. I got to get stuff for my house. And it's just, I'm having to buy stuff that I never thought I would have to buy. Boring stuff, stuff that I would love to save a little money on. Cashback rates change daily. See Rakuten.com for details. Go to Rakuten.com now or download the Rakuten app today. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N, Rakuten. Thank you to Rakuten for sponsoring today's podcast. With spring in full bloom, who wants to spend time running to the store, cooking, and doing dishes? Factors convenient, nutritious meals are delivered straight to your door and will help you spend less time on food prep and more time watching a beautiful sunset on your new deck. Maybe this ad is a little too specific to my experience, but I love Factor and I know you will too because it's America's number one ready to eat meal kit. Oh no, sunsets in three minutes? Well, get this Tootsie Lou. You can pop that Factor meal right out of the box and it will be ready with an entire minute to spare for you to get outside and enjoy nature's beauty with the delicious fresh meal. I tried out the roasted garlic chicken recently and oh my God, it was amazing. And Factor has something for everyone. Whether you're watching your calories, reaching for extra protein, or eating keto, vegan, or vegetarian, these chef-prepared and dietitian approved meals have you covered so you can think less about nutrition labels and more about the radiant oranges, pinks, and blues of a warm Los Angeles sunset. And you'll never get tired of their menu. With 34-plus weekly options and 45-plus add-ons like egg bites, smoothies, and more. So, honey, it's time to head to factormeals.com slash bald50 and use code bald50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code bald50 at factormeals.com slash bald50 to get 50% off your first box. Hi, it's Trixie and Katya. We are doing a live Bald and the Beautiful at Just for Laughs on Thursday, July 27th, and tickets are available now. Get yours at montreal.hahaha.com. That's montreal.hahaha.com. Um, we have to recast Hairspray. Perfect. Okay. Well, in this hair, in this particular musical, the race and casting, the mm-hmm. body type and casting, these things matter. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So we have to cast... It's the 60s. Okay. It's the 60s. So, so Tracy has to be at least somebody willing Tracy to gain a quite amount of weight. Tracy's Beanie Feldstein. Beanie Feldstein. Love. Beanie Feldstein. Love. Um, Edna is... Um, John Travolta. Margot Let's do it again. Martindale. It has to be a man. It's a drag queen. No, it doesn't. And Dowd? Oh, we can get Anne Dowd. Anne Dowd, yeah. Well, don't you think we should get... Honestly, we should get James Corden. <laughs> We should get James Corden and throw him into a wood chipper. <laughs> how about um? How about um? Oh oh, Bruce Valanche. He's wait, a little, didn't he's they a do? Old. I was gonna say Jennifer Hudson for Motor Mouth Maybell, but didn't she play her on television when they did the live Hairspray Live? Might have, might have been. Well, do you, did you watch it? You didn't watch Hairspray Live? No, you don't see in the type. No. I love Hairspray. I know it's corny as fuck. I no, love it's, Hairspray. Hairspray. The movie is not corny. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. The musical's great. But isn't? Uh, oh, but I mean, the musical oh, Hairspray. Oh, the musical. I love it. I know it's what corny, they tired, and about? played out. What do they sing about? They sing about. Um, have you ever seen the movie? So I you just, know what they sing about. It's yeah. the plot of the movie. Okay. What else would they be singing about? I don't Current know. Events? Aquanet got to be glued. <laughs> there is a song about Hairspray. Okay. I mean, the the movie is so smart, so fabulous, it's so trendy. And Debbie Harry Debbie, in those wigs. Deborah Harry. God, the Deborah, costumes. Yes, yeah, fabulous. And Ricky Lake. You're like, she's so magnetic. Yeah. She's such a sweetheart. And obviously I have the original Broadway cast. Marissa Jarrett Winokur eats that shit up, girl. How That's about, Tracy. how about, um, we have to, you've seen the witches of Eastwick. Of course. Let's recast that. Love. Okay. okay. So we need a bronze, a, a, a bronze. We need a bronze, a, blonde, a, a brunette, brunette and, a, and a redhead and a, and a, um, and a Jack. Mm, 
I want the Jack to be uh, the guy who plays Voldemort. He was in the menu. Ray Fiennes. Love him. Is that his name? Ray Fiennes. Okay. Um, He'd be great. Guy. He'd be a great devil. Yeah, the great devil. Um, he's supposed to be kind of dumpy, but something weirdly sexual about him. Yeah. You know, he's supposed to be not attractive, but like they want to fuck him. Yeah, he's like very charismatic, but he looks kind of like a. Um, By the way, that movie, that tennis scene, love. I love the movie so much. It's one of my favorite movies ever. ever it's amazing. Ever. Veronica Cartwright. Whores. Whores. Dildos. Dildos. Alien intercourse. intercourse. Spanish flies. <laughs> She's so fierce. I have nothing against, against a good, good fuck, fuck. But, but there is evil here. here. <laughs> and someone needs to do something about it. Veronica. So unbelievable. Choose the shit out of every fucking scene. She said, oh, Clyde, honey. I think I broke my leg. I think I broke my leg. So fucking funny. And uh, the soundtrack's great. Yeah, so good. And then, uh, you know, and funny, I probably mentioned this before, but the other scene I love, when they, they make a voodoo doll of him, and he's oh, he's yeah. trying to get home from town, Yeah, flying all over the place, feathers. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Love. And they, guess what? They filmed a lot of the, so his mansion, they filmed at the Wang Center where we were in Boston. Really? Yeah, the interiors of, is the lobby of the Wang Center, of his mansion, I fears. Oh, it, it's supposed to be Massachusetts, right? It's in yeah, it's Lenox. It's supposed to be um, it's like witchy stuff in um, Eastwick. It's supposed to, it was Ipswich, Massachusetts. Ipswich it's supposed to be Eastwick. Yeah. It, oh wait, it, which is of Eastwick? Where is Eastwick? It, it's fictional, but it's but it was filmed in Ipswich, Massachusetts, and then in the Wang Center. Wow. Pretty. Yeah. Oh yeah, we played the Wang Center. It's so beautiful. It was beautiful. So beautiful. You know what I love? What? not doing that show mama let me tell you something about it girl <laughs> let me tell you something about it i got those costumes sealed girl dry cleaned and sealed in the i have them bound up in the closet like dorian cory sarcophagi girl girl tutan common <laughs> <laughs> i have them preserved in the smithsonian of my ass like mama, they, i never want to see them again they are locked and loaded and ready to be dropped into the ocean and by the way you would think like i don't remember all the lines i think my brain dumped that my brain started putting things in mama. the shredder the day of oh mama, 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 we started mama. forgetting lines mama. on stage last mama, show you you started to you started to empty the hard drive two weeks During. two weeks before the, the, it was so funny to watch the last few shows i, I kept totally having to got be it like, i don't I know totally what's got it on. i was like yeah it's like we're clearing up space in the hard drive because it's like it's phasing it out quiet quitting yeah. <laughs> girl my brain was quiet quitting on that show loved doing it but like anything after a year you're like <sighs> yeah it's crazy i mean i've been at the, in the studio making new costumes with such verve and excitement new fabrics new cuts new lovelies new new shitties new yuckies new horribles it's great and there's something missing from getting in drag when it's the same costume every day being able to select an outfit, select a hair, select an eyeshadow, or change some, change oh, something, or yeah, I gotta feel something. Yes, I gotta Violet put something always, together. Yeah, Violet always talks about that. She's like, I need something new, even if it's just an earring. I, I totally get. I totally get. That's why I usually bring too much jewelry or or too many, you know, too many wigs or whatever. Because I need something. I have to do something different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's rotten. Um. Last thing, Mary. So I'm trying to get I, I the I'm trying to get this fucking hip ripped out of my body right yeah what's going on with that girl it's horrible it's 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 ratina it's ratina wesley every day it hurts all the time it hurts right now so the orthopedic surgeon's not available till may 3rd so i call this other second opinion hip replacement back alley whatever i get an appointment with them i i get another referral from my doctor i call them today i have to be over 50. you have to physically so we have to what fake your birth certificate well, like, or what i told them i was like can i have your num name and number my phone number they put punch me in the system they're like Oh, sweetie, you're 40. I was like, yeah, I know. Like, we only do geriatric. I was like, what? 50? I was like, but I need a hip. Like, I, this, I, you, you don't understand. In drag, I'm 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I work in an industry where everyone's wear 11. and tear. Yeah, yeah. I'm 85 years old. Blair St. Clair is old in this industry. I'm hospice ready. Girl. So it was just so frustrating. I need to just find some. Is anybody out there, listen, anybody out there, with an MD, or maybe you're, you know, you're about pre med. Or maybe you're just fun. Pre med with a scalpel. You want to hack this thing off and put another one in there? Uh, comment below because I'm ready to get this thing cracking. Not to be dumb, but the femur, the hip, right? The hip has that ball. Yes. And that's what rotates, right? Yeah. 
So is that what's hurting you? That so, ball yeah, thing? I have what's called femular acita- uh, femoral acetabular impingement. Um, and it's so it's where the there's a structural abnormality, a structural abnormality in the the socket of the joint and the ball. Okay. So it's it, there's a grinding plus there's arthritis. So it feels like there's ball bearing metal grinding when I move my hip like this. Ow, 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 ow. This fine. Are you actually going to be able to tour again in your lifetime? Well, now I have I have a, a thing and I'm supposed to go to Drag Expo in May. I don't know. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to be able to do the podcast. Uh, my like. But like, you're going to have to either girl, mama, get no that more splits. No, no, I it's the hip, thankfully, is the easiest of all the joints. Knees, shoulders, hips. Any Anybody would tell you, any physical therapist or doctor would tell you, this is the easiest, simplest one to do. And hey, it doesn't inhibit uh, your hands. Mama. Like if, imagine Shoulder. if it was your shoulders no, and you I, had to have one arm for fucking six weeks. No, like. Or a knee. The knee is horrible. Horrible. And you know, and you know not to be old, listen to this on the Susie Orman podcast, the healing process, you have to be so overly patient because if you get too fierce, I know. you have to wait for that thing to grow back better I know. I know. and then you can use it. Yeah. I'm very thankful for my shoulder. I have great shoulders, great wrists, great ankles, cankles, great knees. It's just this fucking hip that's got to go. But my, Calgon, take it away. Susie Orman, can you come cut this thing out of me, you les? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, God. in that case, and anyway... Honestly, it's an extra, not to be gratitude because I know that's like really cringe, but it's not cringe to be grateful. It's not cringe to be grateful. Okay. It's, it's, it's good to be grateful, but like every part of your body that works, you just take it for granted. We all do. And then when something's not working, chronic pain, you realize how closely linked chronic pain and depression mm-hmm. this close. I cried on the other, I called my brother who's a physical therapist and I was just, I was going to chat with him and then all of a sudden I started crying. That's what I mean. People yeah. who have chronic pain, they just, God. It sucks. It sucks so bad. Literally, I was down stretching. I started kissing my body. Doing this. Yeah. Hugging, kissing on myself. Was this when you peed? This is right before I peed. Mm-hmm. I said, I said, and then I said, fuck you, bitch. Anyways. All right. You're going to get it. You're going to get the surgery. Yeah, I hope so. I hope they... I, I just go thought if you were going to get a surgery, I was going to say, if you were going to get a surgery below the belt, I always thought, well, maybe there's a BOGO situation, <laughs> a Groupon. Yeah. Anybody else out there with a bad hip? Call in. Yeah. Call in. Let us know. And uh, we're standing by. And thank you so much. By the way, great for having that young boyfriend you had. Excuse yeah. Me. My boyfriend's 23 and I have a bad hip. It's giving very Hollywood Hills, giving very intergenerational love. <laughs> it's getting love. very Hugh Hefner up in here. It's getting very Tom Daly, Dustin Lance Black. Jerry, giving- Jerry Weintraub, 50 <laughs> years old in Boca. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, bye. bye.